Manikamana Film. Manikamana is a 2013 documentary film directed by Stephanie Spray and Patrick Velez of the Sensory Ethnography Lab at Harvard University. It is an experimental documentary about pilgrims traveling on the Manikamana cable car between Chis Shifwen and the Manikamana Temple in Nepal. The film has been acquired for U.S. distribution by the Cinema Guild. Synopsis. The film consists entirely of fixed long takes of groups of people and once five goats inside a cable car as it goes up and down a Nepalese mountain. First church shows an old man and a young boy that sit next to each other without saying a word. The following groups have a chat, admire the landscape, take selfies, eat ice cream and play instruments. Production. The film was made by directors Stephanie Spray and Patch Avellis on 16mm film. The film uses village locals that effectively play themselves. Velas explains that in terms of direction we talked to everyone before we filmed. We were in a town 4 to 5 hours away by bus from the cable car about 80 kilometers. We chose the people, we gave them a ride, we talked to them, many knew Stephanie previously. Each shot is about 9 minutes and encompasses the length of the entire 2.8 kilometer ride up to the temple or down. Wanting consistent framing, Nepali carpenters were hired to build a stable wooden base onto which the filmmakers anchored their hi-hat tripod. Some viewers mistakenly believe that Spray and Velez were not present in a cable car during the shooting. In all rights, Velez operated an Artin 7 LTR camera and Spray recorded sound with a shotgun stereo microphone on a two-channel sound recorder. In the beginning of the film, it seems that the camera stays in place when it arrives at one of the two covered stations, but in fact, a new roll of film is used for each sequence. The film required 26 months from the shoot to the premiere. It was largely shot in June 2011, but the filmmakers had great difficulty getting the film out of Nepal for development. Reception The film received positive reviews, earning a 96% certified fresh rating on the Rotten Tomatoes website based on 51 reviews, with an average score of 7.86. The website's critics' consensus reads, its tranquil pace will prove jarring for the blockbuster inclined, but Manakamana rewards patient viewers with a singularly haunting experience. Bill Dilberry of the New York magazine Vulture said that it's the closest I've seen a film come to an act of genuine hypnosis. At, at doubt of the FB, club stated that the film's focus is on neither the destination nor the journey, but on the individuals planting themselves in front of the lens. However, some may find a tough set. Boyd Van Hyde from The Hollywood Reporter wrote that The Human Race finally gets its feature length close up. Scott Founders of Variety concluded that for all its manipulations and self imposed restrictions, Manakamana is expensive, intricate, and surprisingly playful. The film garnered a great deal of buzz at the 2013 Locarno Film Festival, where it won the Golden Leopard Filmmakers of the Present.